Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing great. Today we are going to use decorators in order to implement a retry functionality when we have an exception. Basically, if we have an exception, then we try again. Decorators allow a user to add a new functionality to an existing object without modifying the structure. But they also come in handy when you want to run a function multiple times. In this example, we have a function called check, which produces a random integer, and if the random number is the same with the number we pass as a parameter here, then we return true. Otherwise, we raise an exception. So when we raise an exception, we want to try again. This return functionality can be implemented using decorators. Okay, so let's see the code. In the main function, we define a number let's say we pick four and then we pass this number as a parameter in the check number function which is here and we call the check function and we pass the number as a parameter again which is this function up here we use the random packets it generates an integer between 0 and 10 we print the number just for our own sake and we check if the number equals the number that we passed as a parameter then we have to return true and finish and, pre and print the lucky number otherwise we have to raise an exception and retry again now you can see here so if it returns true then print the lucky number and finish. If the random number that we generated is not equal to 4, then retry again using this decorator here. And this is where things become interesting because we are using a decorator. And we pass two parameters here. I will tell you exactly what those two parameters are. The first one is the number of retries. So how many times do we want you know the code to retry to run this check function again and check for the number how many times like here we passed 20 so if we don't find this like number here we are going to retry again for 20 times unless you know the random number equals the, the equals 4 then we return true and it the program finishes now the second parameter is the seconds that we want the code to sleep until we retry again. So here we have defined a retry function with those two parameters. Then we have the decorator function where we pass our function as a parameter. And then we have the wrapper function and we need to pass those args and keyword args which allow those two parameters to be passed inside this wrapper function here and inside the wrapper function we do for a for loop and for the number of retries from 1 to 20 in this example then we try we execute our function with the parameters that we passed here and then if there is an exception we slip for two seconds and retry again here i forgot the return keyword otherwise when it's true it's not going to finish and so this is where we execute our check function so this function here with the number we passed. We also need to return the wrapper function. As you can see, inside the decorator function, we have to return the wrapper. And then inside the retry function, we have to return the decorator. If you don't return the wrapper or the decorator, it's not going to work. Let me save this and execute it so you can see what I'm talking about. And we have the random number here which is generated here and then we have 
the number of retry that we have printed on exception. What happens here is that we pass this check number function to the decorator. You can see this func here is actually this check number function. And then inside the wrapper, we try, we execute this function at least one time. If we get the lucky number, then we return true and we print the lucky number here and it finishes. Otherwise, we try again. And the maximum times we can try is 20. And here, basically this, when we call this func here with all the arguments, is this function here. And imagine executing this check number function here. It's exactly the same thing. And here, when we call the check function, you remember we return true if the number is equal to the random generated number, otherwise we raise an exception and it goes here. So on exception, we print the number of retry and then we slip for two seconds because this is what we passed as a parameter here and here. And you can see the random number was one and the number of, so we didn't hit the lag number. The number of retry was one again, the random number was two, number of retry was two. We didn't, we missed that as well. Random number is eight, and number of retry is three, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, until the random generated number was four. So here we got four and we checked if they are equal, then return true. So it goes back here and we return true and we print that the lucky number is, you know, four, right? As you can see, we have to return it. We have to use the return keyword here. So we can return if it's true. If we don't do that, even we if we hit the lucky number, it's not going to stop because we don't return anything. And, but the important thing is here on exception, we try again. And this is the beauty of a decorator. You can so easily uh, implement this functionality of retry again. I didn't use it for, you know, to check a random number. In my case it was to ping a server and and if the server didn't respond, then retry again. Otherwise switch to another server, but uh, it comes in handy when you want to retry on exception or in some other case. And using a decorator, you can see, you can, you can uh, implement this functionality of retry and pass here the number of retries or the second to sleep or whatever you want and it's so easily implemented it's a very clean solution another thing i want to show you here is the wraps decorator which we import from func tools then import wraps and right now let me run this and i will show you let me change the number of times because we don't want to wait that long and comment this uh uncomment this and here we print the name of the function of the check number function here and the doc strings so this one and check number which is the name of the function so in theory we should see this and check number as the name right if we run this let's wait three times you see here the number of the function is wrapper which is here and the doc string is the wrapper function here so it didn't recognize although it executed the check number function inside here well we didn't pick up the name of 
the real function that we executed, the check number function. Instead, we picked up the wrapper as the function name and the doc string of the wrapper function. If you want to pass all the metadata, we need to use this wraps decorator and we pass the func as a parameter or function. And that automatically, it's coming from the func tool functions uh, module, so it's not mine. And if you use this decorator here, we pass the right, we get the right metadata. So if I run it now, we will see the correct name of the function, which is check number, and the correct doc string, which is this one, right? And it, it's useful to know which function was called inside here, inside the wrapper function. And we can do that. Instead of doing that manually, we can use the wraps decorator. This is a simple example of how to use a decorator when you need to execute a function multiple times. Decorators are really useful in those cases. Plus, you know, your code looks pretty cool and professional. This is everything for this video. I will upload the code on GitHub as a reference if you want to play around. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please click the like button and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.